Hello there, this is Finn Fournier, and here's turn 218, or I must, well, at the end of each battle, so that's where I end the mission, so it'll be turn 219 by the time I'm done, but it'll be after the battles. Anyway, uh, let's go to history, let's see here, yeah, history, see if we have any incoming fleets to deal with, because here's all the news from the last turn, basically, ships were destroyed, engaged enemies at Surya. Won the battle at uh, DM12247, engaged ships, won the battle there, infrastructure complete, and Sector 57 is now secure, so yay. Alright, so there's all that, and let's see, we have how many colonies? 52, we still need to colonize one of them. We'll have to go through the main map and see about uh, that. Oh, we're not building anything at the home system here. That's fun. Looks like we can build a few more uh, light defense things, maybe. Let's get as many of those as we can turn out, which is a whole ton of them, apparently. But yeah, get as many of those just in case. Looks like we have enough of the medium, and do we have the heavy already? Uh, where would it show? Heavy defense. Ah, there we are. So yeah, let's get those as well. So there's that. And that'll be two turns on that. Probably could get... Uh, some more of the armadas and maybe support ships. Come on, cl I clicked it. Yeah, let's see here. Come on. Not sure how well the support ships would do in battle, but at least we can get a few of them on the way. They can help out with stuff, and the lightning armadas have to be close in to do damage, but uh, with all the turrets, it helps out a little bit anyway. Yeah, 42. There you go. Life, the universe, and everything, right? Construction project initiated. Research project underway as soon as I can figure out. Let's see. Any special projects? Nope. Well, meh. wrong thing. Wrong thing. Here we go. Let's see. Anything I haven't researched yet? There's some stuff over here. Okay. Yeah. It's a little difficult. You have to press right click and go toward the thing. Like it, moving the mouse up does this, moving the mouse down does that, moving the mouse left does that. Yada yada. Game mechanics. Na 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 na. Okay. So I don't know. Uh, let's see. Pol proliferate Hiver. Hiver. This technology makes your world and culture more hospitable to hivers and gives them the ability to spontaneously attract hiver civilian populations as well as increasing the overall alien population limit on your worlds. So yeah, let's do that just in case we need to do the Full diplomatic... Received, sir. Thank you. In case we need to do the diplomatic route with the hivers since they are still number one on the map, uh, but yeah. They don't look it. We look like we have the most, but we have all these unexplored star systems that are probably red. The green is now three, so we're number two, but uh, that would be on the loading screen, which I've been skipping just because it's a pain having to do that. So New Bowern, we need to deal with that one. That's a dent in our worlds, and they have these here too. Wolf 437, Gamma Garden. What? 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 Let's uh exit out of the political map and see what's over here. Can we bring some doom to it? They're apparently leaving colonizer ships there. That's... oh they're going to Ross 119. And uh, we have enough ships to deal with this. Uh, I hope. I hope. I hope. Whatever's there can be dealt with easily enough and that'll be uh, Colony 53 I guess next time. So let's see here and we have Ooh, that needs some help. Yeah, let's uh, get some ships over there, maybe. At least a few. I don't know how many will be there, but yeah, they need some help there. I might leave one ship here just so the world's not undefended. Support of Doom, support of Doom. So, and maybe some more Lightning Armadas. Yeah, and only... there's the limit. Aye, Commander. You will have those ships out in no time. Thank you, Scotty. Alrighty then. And then we'll get that other jerk over there dealt with eventually. So that would be this green one over here that we need to deal with soonish. New Bower. And I know I've dealt with that a couple times before, but we need to probably gang up on it as much as possible. So we'll need to assemble a fleet. 
So there's the saw system. We apparently have had some problems there recently. It's been a while since I played the game. I was focusing on um, one of my other favorite games that barely runs on my stupid computer, uh, which is um, XCOM Enemy Unknown, which is surprising to me that it actually works on this computer, uh, but just barely. Yes, sir. Fleet on heading alpha. Fleet on heading, heading alpha. That is so cool. They have some cool phrases, like, uh, the enemy has been defeated. Yeah, that's one of the few, uh, church songs I really liked. That's, like, not like, uh, Skillet. Skillet's pretty good, too. Anyway, let's go to the next turn and see how badly we do. Get some battles going. I know that the joy of the, um, loading screens can be a pain for everyone. So, sorry about that. I might skip forward eventually on it. Mm. 13 dreadnoughts versus 7 dreadnoughts. That sounds probably okay. And yeah, this is going to be good. So, that can we, we we can probably skip this. They might actually be invisible. So, I'll just set this to auto resolve and only focus on Surya. So, yeah, otherwise if they if they're cloaked it's going to be a pain chasing them down. And we don't have any scanner ships. I mean, we do have a destroyer that hopefully has a scanner. But, yeah, I don't want to just spend the entire time running at them. So, yeah, let's go to Surya. Here's the loading screen. You learn to enjoy it after a while. It's like Stockholm Syndrome, except it's artwork that's really neat for card games. One of my favorite deck building card games that's not like Magic. I mean, well, it's Magic, but I mean, I don't really have a problem with Magic other than the name, but uh, it's uh, Core Worlds. My ex-wife and I used to play like one game a piece, like she'd pick like Once Upon a Time or the My Little Pony Monopoly or whatever else, and I'd pick mine, and my pick was usually Core Worlds. Sometimes she'd pick it too because I, she always won, but uh, I, I, ju I just made my goal is collecting cards that I liked rather than winning, so I won in my own way, but whatever though, almost we're here, almost here, come on, load already, oh my word, it's right there, move, there we are, finally, good grief, endless doom, oh crap, that's already low, and just one lightning armada, nope, the loading screen. No, I mean there's the thumbnail. It throws the game for a moment. That must be a carrier. We're following one of the little enemy ships that just went crispy. And there's another one that's about to go crispy sooner or later. Okay. There's another one. Dun, dun, dun. Another one bites the bus. Not the dust, the bus. Reference to, uh, what's this? Uh, Weird Al's thing. They manage to make these look so cool, don't they? There we go, there's one. There's the next one. Alright, so there's one of seven that we got. Focus fire, focus fire! Keep on going, I guess. Get their little 
hurts as often as we can. And their antimatter projectors try to fry those since the antimatter things can be rather painful. Like it's a little toasty. They're venting. Now hall breaches really suck. First, they might seem like a real blast, but ultimately they just kind of suck. Get that turret. This turret at least. Come on, someone focus fire on that thing. Focus on their turrets. Did we lose another one again? No, oh, we have two in the group. Extra crispy, just about. Anyone ever watch like, um, what's this title? Sci-Fi Debris, SF Debris, but uh, he, he makes some fairly good little jokes about things like uh, when warp is like ramming speed and it's like some ensign in uh, Astromech which is like, I just wanted to study comics. for now on that I guess we're not gonna get it done round draw at least there's a few more that we've lost yay well we'll get some more to hurl at the enemy soon enough I'm System sure update. Cultural details entering database. yay okay let's start now let's we'll, we'll deal with research later but let's make sure the biome colonizers actually have something to do do we have some there I know I have some somewhere. We'll have to go through these eventually. Oh, where the heck are you things? I need to go through and systematically do all the stuff. Ross 119, colonize. Alright, there you go. That'll be number 53. And of course they have more bad guys ready to attack at me. How lovely. But we'll set up a scanner thing and actually be able to deal with all their crap soon. Yay, crap, crap, crap. I say that way too often, don't I? Oh well. Let's call it a day. Let's make sure to save because it doesn't auto-save. As far as I know, we don't have an auto-save function, right? Uh, this, whatever. But yeah, I know. It doesn't, if you don't save, it won't save. So this is extra lame 219. I think next game I play, regardless whether I win or lose here, it'll be birds versus bugs. I'm gonna play as the Marigi, which are space birds. Which, I like birds and I like space, so space birds. Anyway, uh, quitting the main menu. Yep. So, take care everyone. Try not to go crazy and beware the space hamsters of doom on LV426. They're the real enemies that even the xenomorphs wouldn't mess with. It's like hitchhikers, but with hamsters. Wah!